Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we spent the majority of the episode going through the Elizabeth Dane and picking up the ship's manifest, and finally the Ankaran sarcophagus, uh, reporting back to the prince, and he has basically commissioned us to uh, go to the Hollywood Hills and find the Malkavian primogen Alistair Grout, who may or may not be shacked up in his home. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, soonish. Uh, right now I want to go to uh, the last round and let Nines and his group um, know what happened on Elizabeth Dane. One thing I have noticed, it looks like the people in the hazmat suits are gone. Um, I guess the they were the CDC or something? I don't know. But at least they're gone. Heard anything? No, guess not. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Weren't you paying attention before? I don't repeat much. No, oh, whoops. I wanted to. Came to California. Um. L.A.? Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill. But I doubt it. Yeah. Being a wallflower is such hard work. What's up? What? So what'd you find out? It was a slaughter. Whenever it was in the sarcophagus, killed everyone. No kidding. Well, I guess there's gotta be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla's gonna be scraping for answers when this gets out. You think it was an ancient then? You believe the legends? It's in the air, all right. I've been around longer than most, kid. And I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. Yeah, I smell what you're cooking. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. <sighs> I wish I knew where it was leading. So, other than that, what else is new? Still working for LaCroix. Where you headed now? Uh, to find the missing Malkavian primogen. So a Malk's gone AWOL. Well, if that caught LaCroix off guard, I don't know how he's dodged a hundred years of sunrises. Alright, later. I hate walking by damsel. Like, oh, fucking Cammy. Fuck you. Fucking Anarchs think they're better than everyone else. Alrighty. Need a ride? Yeah. And now, Grout's Mansion. Let's do it. Oh, hi, Nines. You. What are you doing here? It's with the echo. Uh, yo, Nines, what's up? No. No. That wasn't really a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Huh? That's not Nines. Look at this crazy mansion. Get a nice thing for a uh, angle for a screenshot. <laughs> See if there's anything on the sides. You know, I always thought it was weird, like having a hill, like houses on hills, like built on hills, because like. Look at that. Like, look at that one I'm pointing to specifically. Like, it's clearly on an angle. I mean, it's cool. Because there's, like, no one around you, and, like, they're huge. But, like, look at that. Like, look at that, uh... You know, those, those metal bars holding that place up. If any of them crack, 
That whole, like, part's going down, man. Just like in GTA 5. Anyways. Ooh, a rat. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, she is wearing a mask. Oh, is that how it is? What does it say? You just sent your ground suspension. Something about it doesn't feel quite right. Yeah. Look at that picture in the back, man. Yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna wait. Oh, hello. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Eh? So is he responsible for making all these people crazy? Okay, so I can't go that way. That's locked. and circus performer and I have no idea what that is perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time time however erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind mind is capricious having various effects on perception time and the mind itself with harmony progress is made all right I, I don't know about you guys but it's too late in the evening for me to fucking wax philosophy what is this is that the Eye of Horus? That's a, that's an hourglass. And that is the brain. 
Oh, I see. Perception. Time. So I got to do it in a certain order. I get it. So perception is the brain, mind, uh, time is the hourglass. Sorry, perception is the eye, and the mind is the mind, obviously. So perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Perception and uh, the time, however, erodes human perception. Okay. I did it, guys. I did it. Oh, another one. Another unfortunate casualty to Tide of Time. Insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Eh, I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. So he's clearly responsible for all these people going crazy. Got it. You know, for a Malkavian, he's very well spoken. I can feed on her. I can. Uh, by the way, in terms of the combat, what the fuck? In terms of the combat, uh, I have actually read that for Toreador, an exceptionally winning combo is um, celerity, high levels of celerity, and guns. Like, you are pretty much unstoppable. Especially if you also level up your aspects. Shut up. Um. Oh, that close to the door. Uh, might as well keep it open. Yeah, you're basically unstoppable at that point. You are so fast and so accurate. But... I don't really want to use um, range combat if I can avoid it because you're going to run out of bullets. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. 
Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. Oh, well, it's another what one here. I give for just one interview. A few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. He's got quite a few um, certifications here. So he's on the board of medical examiners, excellence in alternative medicine, certificate of medical registration, uh, Samo Medical School diploma, and he's got cutouts. Lovely. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Oh, this one's short. I mean, I'll take it. Um, and I know some of you are probably thinking that this is a very weird layout for a mansion. Yeah, the guy's a fucking Malkavian. A lot of choices. So it's through here. Oh, okay. That's where we went up there. Um, that looks like it's locked. Yep. That I guess would be the other door. That same room. Yep. All right. Either the mirrors are fucked up, or it's a two-way mirror. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them, 
Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a gun. Okay, but I'm missing something. Oh, where is that? I saw a thing for a switch. Oh, okay, there it is. Passageway. Why am I not surprised? I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. I mean, when you think about it, he kind of does have a point. Um, that these creatures of the night, like these, you know, for all intents and purposes, like God is among men. They're very superstitious. They, they're afraid of the boogeyman that is Cain and, uh, you know, his, uh, his, his fledglings, you know, uh, they're afraid of Gehenna. They're afraid of like the thin bloods and what they represent. Um, even like, uh, yeah. The name, like, oh, you're you're of Clan Malkavian. It's like, why? You know what I mean? J just because you believe that some father figure birthed the rest of our clan? Like, I mean, someone had to sire. Someone had to be the beginning, right? But, yeah, to think that these guys are so afraid of superstition. Even the Camarilla, they deny uh, the existence of you know, the Methuselahs and the, the, um, oh, what were the other ones called? Um, you know, the third and fourth generation, they, they denied that they'll ever come back. That Gehenna is, is, you know, just superstition. They deny it, but 
is it because that they don't believe or because they're scared and they just like you know are in complete denial it, it's yeah you don't really know you never really know it depends on the person obviously Okay, chaos like the mind can be understood only through the scientific pro or, or process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception thereof. Time is a key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. Time is the key. Tried all different iterations uh, and it didn't do anything. When I say all iterations, like, you know, these two and these are turned on, that one's off, these two are turned on, that one's off, all three are on. Trying to see with just this one turned on. Nothing works. I don't know. Okay, well, regardless, we opened. There was a thing. Was it this? No, that's where we came from. Where did the bookshelf open up? Was it was it down there? Yes, it was down there. Oh, there's some electricity shit going on. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna save. That's it. What is that? A terrible thing? This heavy fang could only have belonged to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel at ease knowing there's one less of these in the world. Decreases your chance of frenzy. Oh, cool. Well, and this one. Is that gonna do anything? Nope. Oh, that was in the main main area, I think.
Oh, that was... Was that this door? No. It was back this way. Or was that this? Wait, now I'm lost. So was the store okay? Oh, we're not even. What a crazy place, eh? I'll, I'll listen to that once uh, we're done with these guys here. I'm, not, I'm really not worried about our health. We, we, we tend to heal pretty quickly. Laboratory refrigerator key. Oh, okay. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom Ooh. of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires, voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of the illness or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Hmm. That's interesting. So I guess he's finally coming to the affliction of the Malkavian where they start to hear voices and shit but why after so long I wonder oh hello you know lady that's not very nice Fuck, I pressed F again. Okay, so what is this? Oh. Wait. Oh, it's stairs. Okay, before I go upstairs, let's check the ground floor. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, epilepsy warning, I guess. Or epileptic warning. Seizure warning. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Blinking lights. <clears throat> There's nothing in here. God, this would drive anyone insane. How did I miss that? Yeah, nude. See what's up here. Oh, this looks down in the rooms, I see. Ah, uh, so I see. This bypasses the fights. Okay. Just helping my uh, my healing along a little as much as I can. Okay. Oh, does this lead upstairs? It does. Kind of. Yes. Uh-huh. Loser. The voices have increased <clears throat> in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Yep, he's a Malkavian, all right. You know, even when I was playing Resident Evil, and like the first Resident Evil game, uh, and playing in the Spencer Mansion, it always makes you wonder, who the fuck built that place? Like even this, like who built this fucking mansion? To, the, to these specific specifications. There was also that uh, serial killer, um, what was his name, H.H. H. Holmes or something like that? Even he, he had, like, a murder house. Didn't he, like... Who who builds stuff like that without even asking questions? Like, doors leading to nowhere. And, like, staircases that, like, grow smaller as, like, you're going up. Like, I don't know. Video games, I know. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. 
My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. He's talking about Gehenna. Oh, there's his wife. Oh, gold ring. Oh. Okay. Weird. No, I was supposed to play it. Okay. Did not realize. So it's a clock, or a watch, rather. Stopwatch? Uh, pocket watch? A little too big for a pocket watch. Maybe it's one of those Flava Flav necklaces. Clocknesses. Uh, I'm guessing that's Grout and his wife? Uh... That's my guess. But that other woman doesn't look like her. Maybe it's Grout's parents? Uh, this guy's seen Beauty and the Beast one too many times. And is that a bat? What is that? Is that a bird? Looks like a bird. Uh, a child's toy? And the brain. I don't know. All right, Grout, where are you? Oh. Did he un unalive himself? Someone did. Because he states. Because his hands and because his feet are tied and his hands are staked together. All right. Out, the Lord be cleansed by the flames. I'm not. Grout's dead. Who the hell are you? Grout is dead. Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Who the hell are you? Yes, you bird. Tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the Archfiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Um, can I jump down there? Well, before I do that. Leave. 
leave, but which way is the exit? Oh, fuck off. Fine, die. Let's see if I can... Ah! Uh. Fuck it. Ah. I'm so gonna die. Thank God. Uh, get me the fuck out of here, please. Uh, since we're here, let's just give LaCroix the bad news. <sighs> Seriously, I gotta talk. I gotta call him. I gotta talk to him. Evening there. <laughs> Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Uh, I don't smell anything. I, I got an appointment with LaCroix. Uh, sure. I'll open her up for you. Ah, jeez, I could go for one of them double space burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Oh, you make me fucking hungry, Chunk. Shut up. So, yeah, this is not good. That's a lot of fire for a fucking candle. Anyways. The Primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Uh, Grout's dead. Grout's dead? What? Uh. Who's Bach? He tried to burn me up and he really hates you. Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Buck killed Grout to draw me out. Uh, seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Buck is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Looks like I have no choice but to say that Nines was there. On my way and I saw Nines Rodriguez leaving the mansion. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? Okay, before that actually... Um... Fuck, it's inside, isn't it?
because I want to talk to nines first before I talk to thing, uh, the prince. Ugh, I'm going to have to reload now. Fuck. Heard anything? Nope. All right. Nines is in here. Did you find your missing Malkavian? I found his ashes, but the real problem is I think Nines did it. Beg your pardon? I saw Nines at the Primogen Mansion, and now the Primogen is dead. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what score Nines would have to settle with the Primogen. Ah, come on, this can't be right. I like Nines, but who knows? Maybe he's losing control. Ah, bullshit. This puts me in a bad position. I don't want to sell out nines. You do what you gotta do. That's it? That's all he has to say? You look like you've seen a ghost. Where's nines? You went to go look into something. Why? I just saw him at Alistair Grout's mansion. Say what? I think nines may have just killed Alistair Grout. Yo, that's bullshit. But you best not be saying that shit too loud. I know what he's out doing, and it doesn't have anything to do with the camera roll. But not our only concern. You know. I want to believe you, but I know what I saw. What's up? And Damsel. Heard anything? Okay, I guess it didn't really matter. I'm gonna have to tell the prince regardless. Okay, so let's do this. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? I'm positive it was Nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, is that right? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So... Out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. Uh, but I just got... Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. Small box, but, like, can you be more specific? There's probably hundreds of small boxes. Sarcophagus is as good as here. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Uh, no keys needed. I'll find another way. I have a few things to do to prep for this, though. I'll be right back. Oh, so I guess I have to, like, leave immediately. Um. Elder BT. Wait, didn't I put this in the fucking... I thought I put this in in the mailbox. This book raises your dodge talent. Sure. 
So I need I need to raise my research. <sighs> okay. Well, regardless, I'm gonna call it here for now. Um. Okay, so, who the fuck killed Grout? I mean, Nines is the obvious answer, but we don't like obvious answers. It's never the obvious answer. When it comes to video games, Occam's Razor never really works out. Especially if you're in, like, a murder mystery. It, it, it rarely goes that way. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this next area is, I believe, the biggest, like, stealth area. It, it, the museum, from what I remember, it was a pretty damn big area. Like, it it might actually take more than an episode, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to raise my stealth stat. But I think we're doing okay. Uh, because after this, like, I don't think... I don't remember if stealth is required anymore. I think the museum was it. Uh, after that, stealth is no longer really necessary. Um... But I'll save that for next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.